Hey there YouTube. How's everybody doing out there today? Y'all ready for the weekend? I'm pretty much going to get lost in college football again this weekend myself and uh, it'll just be me and my little orange buddy Teddy on the couch. But uh, anyhow, today just like the uh, title says, I've got a creamy savory plant-based soup for fall for you. Now, a lot of times my senile self, I will forget about a recipe that I have because I just kind of start, I'll eat something for a while and then I'll move on to something else and I'll forget like recipes that I have. And I was uh, looking through some stuff this morning and I found one and I'm like, oh, we need to uh, start making this again for fall. And I've shared it with you before and I've already got it kind of pre-ready here. I'll let you know in a minute the recipe. I've already got it kind of together here for us. But uh, this is a savory one, and like I say, I've done a video on this one before, I believe. But, you know, when you do so many videos, after it's been about eight months to a year, um, they kind of just get buried and don't know if people see them. So, this recipe consists of two cloves of garlic, which I didn't have. I, I was all uh, amped up to make this recipe, and I didn't check, check some of my smaller ingredients. Didn't have any garlic, so I just used some uh, garlic powder. Um, then I added one medium tomato, two and a half uh, cups of chopped carrot. Now my recipe calls for one inch of ginger, just a nice big piece of fresh ginger. Something else I didn't have, garlic and ginger. So I uh, improvised and used some uh, ginger powder as well. I keep ginger powder around that I like to use on things. Um, I had a teaspoon of chili powder. Um, I put a whole lot of uh, dark pepper, black pepper in there, um, a third of a cup of uh, soaked cashews, and three quarters of a cup of water. Now something else I didn't have, and that one I really wasn't planning on using today anyway, is um, I have used a little bit of liquid smoke in here before, and that, that does give it a really nice, nice autumn savory flavor. So if you do that, just a few drops of uh, liquid smoke. Now what I will do is, I don't, you don't need to see me uh, blend it, I'm gonna go hit it with, hit it with my Vitamix, get this blended and I'll be right back here in a minute. All right, that came out really nice. Um, I'm not really surprised, but in a way I am a little bit just since it's been so long. A lot of times I have to, there's nuances to it. Like I actually thought um, I, you know, I said three quarters of a cup of water, but sometimes I err on the side of too little water. Um, and I was thinking, okay, I'll, I might have to put some more water in here, but nope, it was absolutely perfect. And you're gonna to have to use your imagination a little bit. I don't know, this kitchen, the lighting in here, I cannot pick up uh, orange to save my life. This is very orange, but it's kind of coming up looking yellow like that. And I put some more black pepper on top. The consistency is perfect. And I'll tell you a little trick of, I made it in my Vitamix, but whatever high speed blender you make it in, um, run it for a while. Um, the more I run it, the more I find that it's creamier. Like the longer it just kind of keeps going and going, it just gets creamier and creamier. But also too, and especially with fall coming, sometimes people like a little bit of a warmer soup. So if you just kind of keep that um, going, sometimes you can run it for three, four minutes, five minutes, it'll, it'll slowly heat up and it'll actually get a little bit warm. Now for you that are very, very strictly, strictly religious about the rawness of it, you'll have to get, to, you might want to get you a thermometer or just air go lower because you don't want it to get above that one, holy 118 degrees, do you? But this is good. And you know, you can take a lot of these ingredients and I'll tell you so a lot of times how I make recipes just for me. I'll see somebody do a recipe and I'll just start thinking all the ingredients in there and I start thinking of different things that I can make by using similar ingredients. So there's probably other stuff. Um, I, the corn has been kind of um, expensive this summer around here. I'm just not that big of a corn buff, but I have made something similar to this with corn in the past, but uh, this is good. This is good. Um, and like I say, we're not cool here yet. It's not really fall here yet. But as it does get uh, cooler, I will definitely work this back into my rotation. So there's one for you. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this recipe today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace. 